In this video, we're going to show you how to install the downstream O2 sensor on your Hyundai Elantra located between your two catalytic converters. With the hood open, you're going to go ahead and locate the battery right here on the driver's side. Disconnect to the ground terminal. There's a 10 millimeter nut. Loosen that. Go ahead and give that terminal a little wiggle and then pull up on it. Now from underneath the vehicle, you go ahead and locate your exhaust, which is right in the center, and follow it up. And you're gonna locate your downstream O2 sensor right here. It is just beyond the upper cat, but before the lower cat. Now you can use a 22 millimeter wrench on this here, or you can use a split O2 sensor socket if you want. Now, if you go to loosen this and it's stuck, you can apply some heat. You can use a map gas tank to go ahead and heat up right around the base of the threads here on the pipe. Warm it up and then get your wrench on there and you should be able to loosen that. Now please keep in mind that you have a wiring harness that's attached to this and it runs up and connects right behind the valve cover up in the engine bay. Now if you can, go ahead and loosen this. I'm gonna go ahead and try and unthread it all the way. It does have resistance from the harness up top wanting to twist it back, so just kinda of hold on to it. And it's gonna be a different story when we go to install the new one we don't want to bind up the wiring harness like this when we're installing the new one. Okay. Now the O2 sensor itself, if you follow the wire up, there's a little retainer up here on the backside of your catalytic converter. Go ahead and pull that out. So now that we pulled our O2 sensor out and we removed it from the upper clip there, we're now gonna go ahead and take our new O2 sensor and you wanna go ahead and remove the plastic protective covering here. Now when you remove it, there is going to be some anti-seize compound on the threads here from the factory. Be sure not to get any of that on the sensor tip itself. I'm gonna go ahead and feed this up into place and we're gonna go ahead and install it. And start to thread that in by hand. Now the trick here is you wanna go ahead and spin the harness with the O2 sensor. You don't want the wiring to bind up when doing this. So with one hand, thread it in, and the other hand, rotate that harness with it. Don't want that wiring to twist up and then you end up with an internally broken wire with a brand new part. And once you have that bottomed out, we're gonna go ahead and put our wrench on there. And you wanna snug it down. Now there is a crush washer between where you're putting the wrench and your flange now. And pretty much you wanna tighten it so that that washer pretty much, well, crushes. That's why we call it a crush washer. I'm just gonna continue this process until pretty much you can't turn it anymore. You can feel the gasket crushing underneath. Now at this point we can see that there's no more gap between the O2 sensor and the flange. We know that we're plenty tight there. Now we're gonna go up top. We're going to disconnect the old O2 sensor from the upper retainer and the harness. And then we're gonna install our new harness here. I'm gonna go ahead and feed this up. You can actually put this harness into the retainer. I 
right, let's go up top and remove the old connector and install the new one. Now from the top of the engine bay, we're gonna go between the top of the engine and the wiper cowl area here and go straight down the back. Now right here is the unit. So we're gonna pull up our sensor here. You wanna separate that harness from this retainer. So you just kinda of open that up a little bit, just pull up on that tab, pull our sensor up. Go ahead and grab the wire harness for the other sensor. Go ahead and work that into that clip. And just bend over that tab like so. Now the lower connector we need to get to is right here. We can go ahead on the back side here. We're gonna press down on the little spring clip. I'm gonna pinch and wiggle this off. Now in order to get the connector separate from the bracket, there's a little hole on the top here that you need to use a pick and you're gonna push down in the center of that hole and you can't really get to it properly without removing the upper O2 sensor. So what we're gonna do is just gonna grab this upper O2 sensor harness here, both sides, and just kind of twist it and wiggle it up off of the bracket. Slide that off. Now we're gonna use our pick and you're gonna see the little hole in the top. You're gonna to push down on that and then wiggle this off like so, and slides off the bracket. Now at this point, we can go ahead and remove the old O2 sensor altogether. Grab the harness here. Line it up, push it onto the bracket. Go ahead and grab the connector and push it on. You're gonna hear it and feel it click. And then go ahead and grab your upper O2 sensor, bring that back over line that up with the bracket and push this back on. Now at this point here, you wanna go ahead and hop into your vehicle. If you happen to have a check engine light due to that O2 sensor, go ahead and clear that code. You wanna go ahead and reconnect the battery and then go for a road test. Install the ground terminal, push it down as far as it'll go and snug down the nut. that point there, you're all set. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.